Got an email from a guy who was surfing the Lightwave website and found a tutorial on a basketball and wanted my help converting it into Moto. I said, no problem. Grab a sphere with 16 sides and 12 segments and let's draw that sphere out here. Now, I'm only going to do half of this. I expect you guys to do all of it. I'm going to hit the tab key and go into polygon mode. I'm going to go and delete and zap these top polygons. Now, you will also be doing the same thing to the bottom, but I'm just going to do it to the top for time reasons. Okay, so now let me zoom around here and let me see what we got. Okay, let's go into vert mode. Let's select these verts like this and hit the P key to fill them in. Now I'm going to do this all the way around here. And I'll show you the reason why we're doing this as soon as I get done. So now let's go to polygon mode and let's run a loop slice right down the center at 50% and they give us a cut around the middle there. We can go back to vert mode and I can select this one, this one, this one, this one. Hit the P key and fill them in. This vert, this vert, this vert. Hit the P key to fill it in. This vert. And make sure you select your verts and you know I like to try to stay in clockwise order. You have to select them in the right order or the P key won't work. Okay, now if you notice, we've changed the flow of our geometry. I can now go in and select what the would-be seams of our basketball, which would be these. As you can see, that would be the seam of our basketball. Because we've done this top like this, it changed our flow completely. So now let's go up to Select, and let's add a selection set. So assign a selection set under the Select menu. I'm going to call it Seam, and say OK. Click to deselect everything. And I'll show you why we do that in just a minute. Now this is not real round up at the top here. If you want to go in and, and use some kind of special tool like the smooth tool or whatever to, to round it off, that's not a problem. I'm just going to roughly do it by hand here real quick just so you all can see since this isn't going into any work or any production. That rounded that off pretty good there. Okay, so here we go. We got this. So now what I want to do is I want to subdivide this by hitting the D key. And that subdivides at one time. Now we've got a lot more geometry. So now let's go up to our selection set. We'll say... Let's, first, let's go back into polygon mode by hitting the tab key. Then we'll go to select, select and let's go to use selection set this time. And it'll be seen. We'll say OK. And that brings back our selection set. See, now we don't have to go back and select that again after adding all that geometry. So now let's hit the B key to bevel this. Click to activate it. And let's bevel this a little bit. We don't want to bevel it too much. Okay? Because the seams of a basketball ain't huge. Okay. Spacebar drop the tool. Now I'm going to hold my Alt key. And go up and select Polygon. It'll switch to the Convert. It'll say Convert. I'll say Convert. And that'll um, convert my line selection to Polygon selection. Now I'm going to hit the M key and let's assign this a material. I'm going to call it seam. And we'll make it black. Now I'm going to invert my selection by going to select, invert. Or just hitting your bracket key. I'm going to assign a material by hitting M. I'll call this ball. And of course we'll make it orange. And now if that's selected, I'm going to select my Smooth Shift under the Basic tab. I'm going to click it, and we're going to pull this out just a tad, like so. And then when I hit the T Tab key to go into Subdivision Mode, we got a perfect basketball with some perfect seams as you can see. And this is not a texturing video, but you'd want to texture it too. And there we go. That's how you make a basketball. You might want to make your seams a little wider. It's up to you. Um, I'm gonna, you can subdivide as many times as you want. I subdivided again, which closed these in a lot more. Okay. So there we go. There's our basketball. You might want to make your seams a little wider, but I believe that this is enough for you guys to get the point. So um, thanks for watching, guys.